As we try to rise above it here, there you see Matthews, camera three rising up in the man lift. Camera two, Dale the D-man, Avery over on camera one, Eric Reichel. All the guys doing a great job for us here tonight. Myself, Patrick, Mr. Mopar Duncan, and Mike Pinky Nordstrom in the booth. Sven Melseth down on the field for us. Doc and Chris Mossman, along with Michael Mathis in the back room. And our spotters, George and Gordy tonight. So let's take a look here as Cody the Rock Stayrook has a pole position here for this second big car heat race. The 110 of Rich Burrs to his right, the 70 of Taka Martin, the double lot of Troy Miller, the three, Mark Blossom, the 711, Rick Hicks, the 26, Amber Rodriguez, the 28, Royce Rodriguez, 137, Heather Blanchard, the 77, Bria Steele, and we are underway. Second big car heat race. All right, so already some heat from the front as Tonka, Burr, Blossom, and Miller come through the pack. Another great field of drivers out there. Blossom gets spun around. Troy Miller gets spun around. Rich Burr is in the lead. And now he's got a pile up to deal with as he comes around turn four. He's going to have to go super wide, and he does. Rich Burr in the 110 is your leader. Way out in front. I think the 28, Royce Rodriguez is second place. But Rich is flat flying. The 7-Eleven of Rick Hicks dropping the drivetrain in his time trial. Had to go get parts to get the car running again. And Rich Burr has blown a tire. Four laps to go. All right, so Burr is going to try to hold on to that lead. Rodriguez is a 28. He's about a quarter of a lap down, but he is gaining. And spinning out Blanchard is the 28 of Royce Rodriguez. This is gonna allow Royce to catch up here. Royce on the inside. Let's see what Rodriguez can do. Oh, he bites the wall. Heather Blanchard throws it into the wall. Royce Rodriguez has a white flag drop for Rich Burr. Almost had Burr. Heather Blanchard really helping Rich Burr out in this race. Now, and Rich is gonna, oh, he just about missed the tire. Oh, she could have spun him out there, but no dice. Rich Burr is your winner. Rich Burr takes the unlikely checkered flag. Rich Burr, a great driver, but to lose that right rear really hamstrung him. And uh, as Royce drives by and high fives, it was a great race between those two. Royce just could never close the distance. He gave it a good run though, but it's really hard when Rich Bird gets the lead to overtake him. So Sven's gonna go deep, deep in the trenches to bring us only the stuff he can with Rich on target. Sven, dial it up. All right, Rich Bird drove a hell of a race. You wanna contribute the win to the curly hair or to the Napa parts? Or <laughs> the curly hair and the West Bay parts. <laughs> After that kind of question and that kind of response, all I can do is high five Rich Bird. All right, the first high five of the night. All right, thanks a lot, Sven. Just remember to put the mic in front of them when they talk, that's all. It's okay, you're doing great, you really are. And I see our friends from the north are in the back room here. We're gonna bring them out. I will and step aside and no, let go, them go. You can stay right there, you can stay right there, all Pat. Right. I'm just gonna give the captain the headset here. 
I just want to know who brought the beer. That's what I want to know. All right, just gather around here, guys. Get on up close here. Me. I don't want to steal your thunder there. We put the jerseys on for the football game. Great run today, guys. Why don't you introduce yourselves real quick. You're on that camera right over there. What happened there? We uh, Try that again. Darren Chorney, car 196. Darren Chorney, okay. Sean Edwards, driver 174. Marvin the Martian. Randy Mikowski, car number 36. Mikowski. Jason Rinker, 192. And Chad Rates, 166. Chad Rates, the team captain. So guys, what'd you think? What'd you think about that? Oh, it was a great show. It was uh, both teams just went full out. It was this was probably one of the best years. Now, when you were sitting on top of Yates there for about I don't know what a half hour, <laughs> did you think somebody was going to knock you off? Uh, no, they're just leaving me high and dry. They didn't care. <laughs> no, it was like no. just sit up there. So what'd you guys think? Anybody? Good. Some show. good, Excellent any good hits? hits. Excellent hits. Who? Good Talk hitting, about good rolling. one. Oh, right off the bat, Don hit that the football and rolled his card. You know, right from the bat, it was going to be a good show. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So you guys want to say hi to mom or anything like that? Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Thanks. Well, hey. <laughs> Congratulations, guys, on a job well done. Good job. You'll hold her for another year. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. See you guys. Thanks. Great bunch of guys uh, coming down and doing that for decades here. Next year will be the 30th, and Pat has to go to the bathroom, I guess. All right, well, while they clean up the track, we're going to take a break and come back with the second mini car heat race. Racecom Electronics, providing communications equipment to military, government, corporate, and special events for over two decades. Racecom Electronics, communications on a budget. It's time for the second mini car heat race in the pole position. The 169 of Jordan Roly Polioli Perez. The 20, Amanda Butler. The 770, Bruce, Bruce Harvey. Harvey. The 59, Tony Timmick. The 111, Bill Power. 63 and a half, Darcy Lester. 31, Mike Craig. The 22, J.D. Van Kirk. The 67, Ryan Bang It Up Cooper. And the 153, Vincent Lee Morris. And here we go, folks. We're underway. All right, so they head into the first turn like a swarm of bumblebees. Who's going to come out in the lead? It looks to be Bruce Harvey, 770. Already been to victory lane once tonight. But he's got Craig and Awesome Bill Power right on him. Not anymore. <laughs> Bruce Harvey gonna have Tony Timlek. I think this is kind of a repeat, isn't it, Pat? Yeah, they battled it out once already tonight, but Darcy Lester's now your, your second place. Bruce Harvey with about a half lap lead early in this race. Passing Vincent Lee Morris. Will Bruce Harvey be the first two-time winner of the night? Darcy Lester about a quarter of a lap down in second place in that pink Eat My Dust 63.5. What a crazy night of racing, huh, guys? Oh, yeah. It's insane tonight. Oh, yeah, eh? Bruce Harvey about ready to lap Ryan Bagot up Cooper. Bruce Harvey in the 770 is your leader. One star. And that was intentional as Mike, the 31 of Mike Craig has just lost the A-arm on the front left wheel. Or not the A-arm, rather, but the axle. Axle. I just realized the M&M car is a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> oh, oh, my golly. Now, folks, we're talking about the 67. Bang it up, Coop, as he takes oh. another one. He's got that name for a reason. Bang it up. Knows he's on TV. Oh. He's trying to give the folks the show. He gets, he gets tired of hearing everybody say the mini cars don't hit, and he's not here to show that they do. They can hit. Bruce Harvey taking the white flag here, one lap to go. He's in cruise control. He better not cruise too much, because I'm telling you, one bobble, Darcy Lester's going to pass him, but it's not going to be in this race, folks. Jordan Perez. Oh, oh, oh and over. I spoke too soon. Oh. Harvey. <laughs> Now, Darcy Lester is second place, and he cuts her off. 
We're getting violent out here in the little cars tonight. He is going to bang it across the checker flag. Whoa. Backwards style. Wow. Bruce Harvey knows how to derby. Unbelievable. What a finish. How many times do you see a driver taking the checkered flag out here backwards? Yeah. But I, I did notice there that Harvey looked at Lester, at uh, Darcy Lester and purposely stared in his way to uh, prevent her from winning and Actually, allowing him to win. Actually, they're saying Tony Timlick won the race now. No. Ah, uh, yes, they are. Harvey was in the lead the whole time, but I guess Timlick may have snuck by. It looks like he snuck in the back door. <laughs> Could be <sighs> Tony Timlick. Oh, the back door. <laughs> And folks, there has not been a multiple winner yet tonight. It was snatched from the jaws of victory. Sven, go ahead. Tony Simlick, second win tonight. It's getting kind of old. I mean, what a win. I had to stop for a couple laps. I got to admit, it was a pretty good win. Nobody saw it coming. So what does he what does he prefer on his uh, sandwiches, Sven? Mustard or butter? <laughs> mayonnaise, mayonnaise or butter? Ask him. Do you like mayonnaise or butter on your sandwiches? Butter. All right. Uh, butter. Weird. Who knew he liked lube like butter? <laughs> that is the stuff I'm talking about right there. Tony Timmick likes butter, not mayonnaise. <laughs> Another great interview by the great one. Tony Steven Butter Sven Boy Nelson. Timlick. The brand new father here in 2009. But wait, what's Harvey doing coming back on the track? They have taken it away. Harvey is now the winner. Wow. I told you. I got to so, interview two guys. So I wonder, does he like butter or mayonnaise? I mean, yeah. you got you to gotta ask him. Make sure you First ask Harvey. him, Ben. You prefer butter or mayonnaise on your sandwiches? Um, how about mayonnaise? Ah. <laughs> nice, white, ah. creamy, nice. Good answer. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, folks. Oh, nice now finish. we're going to take a break, but I'll tell you what, don't go anywhere because this second big car figure eight is going to be a monster. Time for the second big car, figure eight. Chuck Dano there you see in the four car. The 18 of Nick DeLise. The 66 of Lauren Jones. The rookie. The 180 of Doc Peterson. And I don't know, oh, well, Doc Peterson's kind of hung up, so that's holding everything else up. The 88 of Ken Richardson. Doc Peterson now gets her going. Now he gets her going and then it stalls again. The 21, Warren. The 70 of Mike Tonka Martin. This is gonna be a huge race. The 137, Heather Blanchard. The 732, Cody the Rock Stayrook. The 28, Royce Rodriguez. I have not seen Rodney, his car must be toast. Yeah, he lost the uh, lower control arm on the right front. Yeah, it's messed up. So it's easiest to remember Rodney is red and the other one's blue color. I just basically guess, to be honest with you. 
I think I remember Roy says the 28 because he works at West Bay. Ah. And I see him there all the time. And then Rodney hasn't raced as many years as Royce has in the 29, so. Now is this a heat or an eight? This is an eight. Kelsey's waving them around and uh, should be a good one. This 10 car figure eight, actually nine because of uh, Doc Peterson not being able to get in there. If Daniel can get to the tire first, it's over. Oh yeah. But, and you see him and out Look at him front. strategically driving here. The rookie that's gonna about to get schooled. <laughs> And here we go, folks. We're underway. Second big car, figure eight. Dano's rear end hopping quite a bit. And like you said, Patty, got out to a big lead yep. as we have a log jam in turn one, big yep. time. The only way someone was going to beat Dano was to take him out in that first corner, and it didn't happen. across the middle. Got a hair of the bumper. That was it. Oh. Rodriguez's tire gets blown. Dano, Dano half a lap lead. Jesse Here Warren. Swing oh. it. Cam Richardson, Imperial. The 732 of Cody the Rock they were trying to make up some ground, but Dano comfortably in the lead. All right, let's see what happens between Tonka. Oh, and Rodney got in the or Royce got in the way. Because Tonka and Richardson were narrowly missing for several laps. Dano spinning out the rookie Blanchard. It was Johnny Graham's, I think, granddaughter. Yeah. In her first race out here. Heather. Ken Richardson crossing in front of Dano. Ken Richardson in the new cute green car. <laughs> the Grinch. All right, here comes Dano and Richardson. Oh, Dano, he's just waiting to pick a spot here. He's in the lead. Three laps to go for Chuck Dano. Heather Blanchard narrowly escaping a T-bone. Lost another tire, she's hanging in there. So again, all Dano from the beginning. Chuck Dano should have his own channel. <laughs> all Dano, all the time. <laughs> Dano slowly picking his path here. And here's your chance. Nope, the 21 of Warren will not hold up Chuck Dano. The white flag is out. Dano moments away from victory. And this will be his second figure eight win tonight. Maybe. Oh, and he gets greedy. Oh, almost. <laughs> Jeff Dano, congratulations. That motor mount's busted. It's sorry to come out of the car. Motor's hopping all over in there. Which Old car button. is that? Silver 18. wagon. 18's got a broken motor mount. That motor's hopping half out of the car. Chuck Dana will take that one down, and Sven will run out there and ask him what whether, his secret he, is. whether he prefers Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke. <laughs> Very good. I like that. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. Dana likes to do the victory lap. Some old school going on here yeah, at the track. I still do that. I like I've that. done that a time or two just for the simple reason, because I remember Chuck doing this all the time was when I was a kid. It would be interesting if Kelly Enzer did it, because if, if Kelly did it, he'd have one hand on the flag, one hand doing the fist pump, and no hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> That's it. He'd try to lean through the turn. Ken Richardson has seen better days. The Grinch who stole Christmas. <laughs> That's Dale Avery's car. He just wanted everybody to know. Thanks, you know Dale. where Dale got the car? Uh, from Pinky. Very good guess. <laughs> it was actually originally turquoise on turquoise with a white top. Nice. Runner driver. 
and that would be a sweet one to fix up. 68 so Chrysler sweet. Imperial out of Spanaway, Washington. I, I figured out why people don't like to fix these up. Brake parts are expensive. Yeah. Sven, take it away. All right, Chuck Dano wins two races tonight. One question all the fans have on their minds. It seems like a competition attraction. What kind of tires are you running, Chuck? Just regular 715 truck tires. 715 truck tires, yeah. everybody. Got it. I'm sure he's got grooves cut in him, special cut by yeah. himself. So, how'd you win that race, Chuck? It was a fun good race time. to watch. Just good, good, good going. Everybody competition, just keep driving hard. Congratulations, Chuck. Chuck's like, uh, quit talking to me, Sven. I'm going to get the trophy. I've got a hottie <laughs> behind you. Hello. i got to get down yeah. to good there. Schwing. Schwing. All right, folks. Schwing. We're going to take a break and come back with the second <laughs> mini car figure eight. At Olympic Artworks, original professional artwork goes into each and every project, giving you a unique, recognizable design that will bring you customers. Using state-of-the-art equipment, Olympic Artworks will take you every step of the way from concept to print. To find out more about affordable visual advertising, shoot Rob an email at signquote at AOL.com. Time for the second mini car figure eight race in the pole. Frank the Tank Butler, the 19 on the outside of him, Jack Etchells, the 85, Kurt Fubar Bratcher, the 315 of Chris Ironhead McNett, the 48 of Sweet Hands Lou Sellers, the 168 of Tim Euler, and the 33 of Scott Carter. Now we see Rick Smith in the 97 rounding out the field here. And we'll get this eight car figure eight race underway shortly. We'll see if they can keep up with the fast paced action tonight. I tell you what, this has been a wow. wild tonight as I can remember. Boy, oh boy. The natives are definitely restless. Absolutely. Here we go, Brent. And I just heard that Rick to Flip Duncan has sustained night ending damage to his car and we are underway. Second big car figure eight. Frank the Tank Butler jumping out to a quick lead. Jack Etchell's being spun out by Kurt Fubar Bratcher. Frank Butler already winning one tonight, the first mini car heat race. That rut over here in turn three is getting pretty deep. Get a couple cars on two wheels. Oh, wow, Frank car. squirts right between Edgels and Euler, luckily. Frank building up a huge lead here. Only four of the original eight cars still running. Now five as Bratcher gets it going. Bratcher with steering problems. The wheels are both pointing to the left. That's not good when you're trying to turn right. <laughs> Etchell spins out there in turn three. Scott Carter has a shot at the leader here. Oh. And he misses. I see Kelsey Payne is holding a black flag. <laughs> Looks like there's a problem with the 168 down in the far corner of the oiler car, maybe. Look, look at the shape of it. It got T-boned or something. It's a mess. And I saw, like I said, I saw the black flag. Kelsey's holding it. Actually, they're looking at the 315. That's Ironhead McNett, the rookie out of Port Orchard. Ironhead. Looks like he's all right. The car's uh, put its own fire out. So we're gonna get him rolling here in just a second. There you see Scott Carter, seen better days. There's your leader right there, Frank the Tank Butler, running in his fourth year out of Bremerton. Going to pass Sweet Hands Lou Sellers. Fire underneath the Scott Carter orange truck as uh, Frank passes him. And there, now you see the siren. Small fire underneath the 33. He right there. Keeps trying to start it. Nope, the other way. Whatever's dripping down when he tries to start, it's lighting, and then as soon as he lets off, it's out. Minor, minor issue here. We'll get the track cleared and get back underway. Looking for some wholesome goodness tonight, guys. I'm waiting. Yeah, luckily, uh, the uh, they shot a little fire extinguisher under there. 
And we will not get a mouthful of wholesome goodness <laughs> as the wind is carrying it in another direction. Thank God, I've had enough of that the last two years. Frank the Tank Butler cruising through this I, second mini car figure eight. I Pat? Think you could set it on cruise control here and call it a good night, huh? Pretty much. What do you think, Pat? Well, there's only three cars running. Are you hanging on to the edge of your seat up here? My seat is. Back, uh, wait uh, a minute. Uh, 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 your seat's gone. You're really holding on. <laughs> Pat has scratched the edge of the seat off with his nails. <laughs> <laughs> the shining style. Yeah, other than that, you know. Here's Patty. Two laps to go for wow. Frank the Tank Butler trying to become the second two race winner tonight. Well, Brent, I actually, I think that would be the third because I, I think the shot of Dano put on a really good show in that. Yeah, you're right. Dano and Harvey already winning two races. That's why I'm here, folks. White flag is out. Frank really, the Tank Butler. Really big show we got going here. Oops. Harvey did that once and he got rang up. He should have rung up the sellers right there. And there it is, checkered flag. Congratulations to Frank the Tank Butler in his fourth year again out of Bremerton. Now, Pat, on another note, I don't know this wheel. Are aluminum wheels allowed out here? No, because the uh, car heading into the pits, the 97 car has an aluminum wheel on there. Uh, busted. Busted. No, they're not allowed. You're supposed to have only steel wheels. That's what I thought. At yeah. least not for the big cars, but, you know, aluminum's, they just shatter. So. Aluminum's aluminum, right? Look at Frank. Frank asking Taking a for some lap. applause and not getting any. Sven, make sure and ask him if it's Coke or Diet Coke. Hey, is it oh, aluminum look. wheels? Mm -mm. All right. Frank the Tank, one question. What made you choose mini cars over big cars? Uh, cause you think you guys, big car guys are crazy. We're getting one of those. You guys scare me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying your testicles are too small for big cars? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Nice win. <laughs> Sven, you're fired. Sven put on the shades and he turned into another animal. I don't understand this guy. What's going on? That was awesome. Wait till your wife sees this. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to take a break and come back with the third round of races. Crazy Eric's, drive through style dining for the whole family. Located at the fairgrounds, Belfair, and Navy Yard City. Nostalgic food, family fun, Crazy Eric's. The fans are looking forward to the last round of racing here at Kitsap's Thunderbird Stadium. It's Can-Am Football Derby Night, July 25th, 2009. It's time for the last heat race. This is the reverse direction race. And on the front row, Rich Burr and Mark Blossom. And I'm looking for a lot of fireworks in this one, folks. Bria Steele and Warren in the second row. Hicks and Butler in the third. Enzer and Troy Miller in the fourth. Rodriguez and Dano rounding it out. And here we go. Enzer in the back. Look out. And Rich Burr can't get it started off the line. So that allows the three of Mark Blossom to take the lead. Blossom being chased down by Warren in the 21. And here comes Troy Miller and the double lot. Gaining some ground. Oh, nice violent hit into Bria Steele into the wall. Look, the, look for action down there in turn two. The three car of Mark Blossom is your leader. Troy Miller and the double lot in second place. Running Eric Hillbilly Nielsen's 43 car. Him and Crazy Kelly are mixing it up for second place. Crazy Kelly ends are now taking second place about a third of a lap behind Blossom. Five laps to go here. Now four for Mark Blossom in the three car. Oh yeah, getting him spread out. Kelly ends are reeling the field in. He's trying hard, isn't he? He's wanting this bad. Blossom mixing it up with Rodriguez. Yeah, Amber in the 26. And that let Kelly gain a lot of ground. Oh, yeah, that held him up a little bit. Kelly running a good line. He's knocking on the back door, Brent. Oh, he lost the tire, Brent. Kelly Enzer lost the tire. 
That's going to cost him some time. Kelly still running strong. That posse still going strong. Troy Miller now. Oh, Mark Blossom just got out of the out of the lead. He got spun out over to the side. Kelly Enzer takes the lead with the white flag drop, and Blossom tries to oh. spin out Kelly and misses. This is going to be Kelly Enzer's race. He tried hard. He gave him a shot. Mark Blossom left one. Get away from him as crazy. Kelly Enzer takes the checkered flag. Kelly Enzer in his 24th season out of Port Orchard. Sponsored by Goit Paving and Patching, DNC Competition Engines, Pipeworks, Mechanical Service, Olympic Artworks, Navy yeah. City Metals, Dano Septic, and Liberty Bay Excavating. He earned that one, man. He got came from way behind. Oh, Tonka Martin just lost front tire. Kelly Enzer, that, folks, is a clinic he put on there. Yeah, look at him getting the crowd going. And Kelly Enzer winning his first race of the night. Usually it's not into the third round before Kelly's taking a checkered flag. Didn't he get the first one of the night, the heat? He did. That's two times I've screwed up. There's our fourth double winner for the night. Congratulations to Kelly. Sven, go ahead. Sven, where'd the, where'd the glasses go? I got a question for Kelly. Two-time winner tonight. It's been 80, 85 degrees. Your fire suit. Do the checkered flag flags keep you cooled off or what? Most definitely. The checkered flags are keeping me cool. The fans wanted to know. I, it's not even my question. I'm just saying. Who, who's over there? I can't say. Is Pat, is Pat up there? Pinky, I need a radiator. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Kelly Enzor. Attaboy. All right. Kelly knows where to get car parts, doesn't he, Pinky? <laughs> yeah, the go-to daddy. Crazy Kelly. Enzer takes another one here tonight. Your uh, big car points leader for the 2009 season. And with that, we're going to take a break and come back with the mini car reverse direction heat race. Racecom Electronics, providing communications equipment to military, government, corporate, and special events for over two decades. Racecom Electronics, communications on a budget. The last of the heat races here, the reverse direction mini car heat race. And in the front row, you have the 22 of J.D. Van Kirk and the 119 of Victor the Madman Trent. In the second row, Vincent Lee Morris and Bill Power. In the third row, Darcy Lester and Jordan Perez. Fourth row, Tony Timlick, Amanda Butler. Last row, Mike Craig and Bruce Harvey as they get the 70 car of Mike Tonka Martin off the track. We'll be underway here shortly. And remember these reverse direction races are instant go as you see Kelsey Payne there holding the flag. And here we go. Look for early action in the turn one and two. Billy Power fighting with Victor Trent for the lead. Victor Trent. Moving out in front. Oh. 169 spins out the 22 car. Van Kirk being spun out by Perez. Oh, somebody lost the bumper. Oh, almost a rollover, Brent. Victor, the lead car on two wheels. Victor Trent in the 119. It's getting pretty bumpy down there. Man, he's driving it hard, too. You know, he's coming in those corners that fast. He's got to be careful. Billy Power in the 111 is a good driver. Trent knows if he makes a mistake, it could be over. Oh, look at those ruts. Bouncy bounce. Oh, bumper got ran over again. Oh, Bill Power just lost his front left wheel and being a front wheel drive car, that does not bode well for him as Victor Trent extends his lead to about a quarter lap, but he's got Tony Timlick reeling him in. Tony Timlick in the 59 as Trent takes the turn way oh. wide. Big mistake. Deep, deep dirt out there. He's slowed him way down, and Timlick's right on his door. Knock it on the back door. Oh, nice hit right in front of us. Three laps to go as Tony Timlick challenges Victor Trent 
for the lead. He's gonna reel him in, Brent. Good driver. Here he goes, look at that. He's making his move for first. Neck and neck as Timlick takes the lead. Oh, he's gonna get spun out hard. Timlick made oh. a huge mistake, but Bruce Harvey now. In the lead. In the lead. Two laps to go, one and a half for Bruce Harvey. And now the white flag drops. Bruce Harvey could be our first triple winner of the night. Did I get that one right? Oh, yeah. You're learning. <laughs> Bruce Harvey going to take the checkered flag. Some good discipline racing there. Yep, he was there. never really in contention until Trent mixed it up with Tim Lick, and they slowed each other down enough that Bruce Harvey was able to slide in there. Well, he hung in there tough and got himself a win. Let the other guys up front beat it up. That'll help a guy in the points races. You get a point for entering and two for winning. If it's a special event, you get two for entering and two for winning. Derby's anywhere from one to four points for uh, winning and taking down to fourth place, and two points for entering. That's it. Bruce Harvey gonna get another on-field interview. We know he likes mayo. What else? All right, Bruce, three times tonight I've come to talk to you. <laughs> Getting a little tired of it. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. That was a great race. How'd you pull that one off opposed to the other two? I, I kind of just waited waited for my turn and kind of slipped, slipped through all the bullshit and, and got, it, got it up here. Beep. Congratulations. Very nice. <laughs> First we have uh, the male gender spoken, and now we have the cow manure type spoken. The sensors are going to shut us down here, I think. Oh, boy, that was great. All right, folks, we got two wild figure eight races, two huge demolition derbies, yeah. and then you get to see the credit roll. We'll be back after this. Final big car race, folks. Figure eight as the lights are on here at Kitsap's Thunderbird Stadium, home of the Kitsap Destruction Derby Association. Go to kitsapdestructionderby.com for schedule, pricing, and a whole lot more. As you see the fans there, watch the 66 of Lauren Jones, the rookie, come into the track. And He'll be joined in the front row by the four car of Chuck Dano. Chuck winning two times already tonight. In the second row, we'll have Rich Burr, Rich Burr rather, and Mark Blossom. Boy, I'll tell you what, those front two rows, there's a lot there. Then we have the 26, Amber Rodriguez, the rookie, next to Troy Miller with that brand new 327. It seems like it's been a little too hot for the wheels. I, I see a lot of slipping and sliding. Bria Steele and Kelly ends are rounding it out. There's four cars out there that are really going to fight for this one, Pat. Yeah, there's, uh, like you said, that first uh, first couple rows got some horsepower. You got Enzer coming from the back here. You got Troy Miller in there. He's got some power. So they're going to leave it all on the table in this third and final big car heat. Or a figure eight, excuse me. And here they come, and Kelsey is going to give them the green flag, and here we go. Dano again gets the whole shot. Dano 
Losing a Gets a little board. help as Blossom spins out the 66 of Jones. Man, he is straight flying. Troy Miller in second place. Dano bounces into the soft stuff. And Rich Burt takes the lead. Rich Burr and Chuck Dano, one, two. Chucky's going on the inside trying to get Richie. Oh, and he just let him slip away. Chuck almost spins himself out. What a race we're having here, folks. As Burr goes a little deep into the soft stuff. It's Burr, Dano, Miller. Kelly ends are about to be lapped, and he's going to take a yeah. seat on the sidelines. He's blown a tire. Rich Burr here coming comes across Chuck. the middle. Oh, man. Blossom is dead in the wrong part of town there. Five laps to go for Rich Burr. Chuck Dano not giving up yet and barely missing Amber Rodriguez. Troy Miller gets lit up by Lauren Jones. And Lauren's bumper came flying off. And Coolant is coming out of the front of that car. But now Dano, I think, has slipped by. Brewer, I think Dano has the lead. And he does. Four laps to go for Chuck Dano. Trying to become the second triple winner of the night. This car has got just the right lean to it. As Burr comes flying through there. Chuck Dano, three laps to go. Coming up on some more lap traffic as the raindrops begin to fall here in Bremerton. Two laps for Chuck Dano. Rich Burr about a quarter lap behind. It's going to take a miracle, though, for Burr to catch up with Dano here. White flag is out for Chuck Dano in the four car, or as you like to say, the car with no sign board. <laughs> Dano hits that bumper as he flies through, and Miller, he could have tur turned Rich Burr's car into a taco right there. Oh, but Burr elected not to. Tags Jones on the far end of the track. Dano coming around for the checkered. He'll take this one easily. Congratulations to Chuck Dano in the four car. And there, Rich Burr is going to come in. High five with Mr. <laughs> Dano. And Dano will take a victory lap. All three big car figure eights going to Chuck Dano tonight. Because that didn't disappoint, as you said, Brent. Rich Burr and Chuck Dano put on one heck of a show. Burr had the lead, got a little tangled up with lap traffic. And uh, Chuck took it back over and took it to the house. Took it to the his house, as they say in the hood. <laughs> Chuck and running old school, no signboard. <laughs> yeah, not by choice. Yeah. Dano trying to carefully take that victory lap. Yeah, Dano we, lured out of retirement. Yeah, that old timers race last year brought him back. Uh, Animal Jim Harp earlier, he came back. So, Jim really uh, with a great looking car. Oh man, he spends a lot of time and man, they do look sweet. But like I told him earlier, last time he had a sweet looking car, it was broken in one night, too. So. <laughs> hey, grab that pipe. No. <laughs> I can feel it from here. Okay, so you hear Kelsey and Sven getting some... Uh, jiggy with it. Jiggy time. <laughs> Chuck needs to install a handrail to get out of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good golly. I figure he does it enough, he would have one. <laughs> He's not going to like that, Pat. <laughs> Sven, go ahead. He's running away from me, guys. Chuck Dano, third win tonight. Thank you. How would you contribute that win uh, fending <laughs> off a veteran like Rich Burr who was right on you the whole time? He was on it. He had it. He spun himself out. So let me in. Give me a little window. I took advantage of it. Nice win. Get some sugar. Need to get you back. 
<laughs> I tell you what, somebody stole <laughs> half of her short. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah. Call the police. Sven would contribute that to Grand Theft Shorts. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break and come back with the mini car final figure eight, and then we got two monster demolition derbies for you. Imagine your ad here. Get the word out. Contact West Sound TV at 360 613 9734 or shoot us an email at West Sound TV at AOL.com. With over 16,000 views on Comcast Video On Demand in 2008, West Sound TV is the place to promote your Puget Sound area business. Thank you. Time for the third and final mini car figure eight in your lead position. Frank the Tank Butler. Frank going for his fourth tonight? Three. Tank, tank the last two. Harvey has got three. That's though. right, you're right. Mike Thebold, the Canadian, sharing the front row. In the second row, our three-time winner tonight, Bruce Harvey, next to him, Sweet Hand Sellers. We have the 513 of Dan Garrison and the 168 of Tim Euler. In the third row, we have 63 and a half, Darcy Luster, the six of Etchells, the 20 of Amanda Butler, Tony Timlick in the 59, and it looks like they just let everybody come out there. Mike Craig, Jordan Perez, and Billy Power rounding it out. This 11 car, mini car figure eight race, and here we go, folks. We are underway. And our Canadian friend, the 124. Already winning his first race ever tonight. He's going for the deuce. It's gonna be tough though, it's pretty cloggy here in the middle and he goes really wide. Darcy Lester made up a little bit of ground because Thiebold tried to avoid the contact and went yep. wide, but Thiebold's still in good shape. See how he handles it through here. Darcy Lester is hot on his trail. Mike Craig and Rick Smith also. 124 of Mike Peebold is your leader. And he lost the right front, so that does not bode well for him. He'll be able to hold him off for a while, but I think Mike Craig might overtake him here. Oh, here it comes. Oh! We have a rollover down in the east end. Who is that? Is that Rick Smith in the 97? That's the only one I don't see out on the track. The 97 of Bruce Harvey. Bruce Harvey, the 770. Rick Smith, the 97. Brent, that's my job. I'm the stat guy. Come on. Wow, I got to lay off the booze. That's the bad thing is we haven't had any. I know. <laughs> Rick Smith. And it is Rick yeah, Smith. Gosh, when, you know, when I'm right, I'm right. And me, I'm always right. It occasionally happens. <laughs> At least in my own mind, anyway. They're going to reset Mike Craig, and they put him right in the middle. I thought he was ahead of the 124. Yeah. Into that. And uh, Thebold now with a little bit of breathing yeah. room. It won't last, though, because he's lost one of his drive tires. Craig, yeah, he will overtake him, so. A lot of action here, though, by the mini cars tonight in these figure eights. Mainly in the rollover contest, uh, the mini cars have done quite well. I think they've got three or four rolls tonight. Yes. Doesn't take a huge rut to get them to start rolling. And here we go. Thiebold being chased down by Mike Craig. It's just a matter of time. See that? N his tire just ripped apart that kung fu action on his right front tire. He loses it there. He's got the nunchuck thing going on. <laughs> Mike Craig gonna pass him right here, maybe not. Okay, right here. Thiebold pushed into the soft stuff. Craig pushes himself in, and Darcy Lester now really making up some ground. He's got Darcy it. Lester now taking the lead. I think Craig must have lost the front tire too. Craig is out. Darcy Lester's your leader, three laps to go. Tony Timlick coming around. Thiebold still in second place with the blown tire the entire time. And Darcy she stalls. 
Tony Timlick now takes the lead. Not. Nah. Darcy's got it going again. It's a Timlick Lester race right now. As 124 Thibault just got annihilated by Jordan, Jordan Perez. Perez. Tony Timlick is your leader. Darcy stalling again I think in she the keeps, same area. She keeps slipping out of gear down there, I think is what the deal is. And then she's gonna make a mistake and almost pulling for Jordan Perez. And she stalled it again. Here comes Timlick coming around turn three. And he gets locked up with Thiebold. And, oh boy, almost made a critical mistake, but he's gonna take the checkered flag, the 19 of Frank Butler almost Close. able to reel him in because Timlick. Timlick plowed in to the 124 of our friend from up north, Mike Peeble. But congratulations to Tony Timlick winning again tonight. That is his second, third? Right, second. Now, he was in that oh. controversial situation where they gave it to him and took it away. That was with uh, the 770 Bruce Harvey. The actual yeah. Bruce Harvey right. as opposed to the 97 Rick Smith Bruce Harvey. Sven, it's all you, buddy. Here I am with Tony Timlick. I got to ask, you won a couple races tonight. Good building or do you cheat? I got to ask. Well, I'm accused of being a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> All good demo drivers are. It's a good building, but I'll let them think what they want. I'm going to go ahead and say it's luck and not cheating. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Sven. Well, I'm talking about putting a guy in the spot there. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break and come back with the mini car main event. At Olympic Artworks, original professional artwork goes into each and every project, giving you a unique, recognizable design that will bring you customers. Using state-of-the-art equipment, Olympic Artworks will take you every step of the way from concept to print. To find out more about affordable visual advertising, shoot Rob an email at signquote at AOL.com. It's time for the mini car main, folks. We've got five of them out here so far. You see right there the O2, the Cleveland Indian rig of Richie Buckethead Sharp. You've got the car with no signboard, it, I believe, is 168, I believe, Tim, Tim Euler. Euler. The 77, the 777 of Koenig, the two of Riley Sharp, the 80 of Jason Lillibridge, the 85 of Kurt Bratcher, the 169. Jordan Perez. Jordan Perez. We've got the 124, Mike Thebold trying to take a trophy here in his first ever derby. We've got the m, &M guy, 153, Vincent Lee Morris. There's a lot of cars out here so far. Got it, looks oh, it like says he's 149, got 149 on top of one of those cars. That would be Mark Smith. Which could just mean that he's a teammate of the Oilers. Right. Who's on the 160, or the uh, 168. 168. So it looks like we've got our nine cars set for this mini car main event. Should be a good one. Buckethead, he's got a lot of car left. 169 Perez, he's got a lot of car. You gotta look at Lily Bridges being tough. Smith in that uh, wagon, he's pretty good. And you got Riley Sharp in the deuce. Lily Bridge and Corey Tucker, the Bass Brothers out here <laughs> in the mini. Smack, get in there. Up oh, here we come. Our rollover phenomenon from 2008, Jack Etchell's in the six car joining in. He's gonna derby a pretty good looking car, actually. Yeah, well, you got about a month to build another car, so that's it, here we go. They've closed the gates, we've got 10 of them out there. Mini Four cars. of them are gonna take trophies. Mike Peebles mixing it up with Mark Smith. There you see Fubar Bratcher. Now there's Smith now. He got taken out by Peebles. He's in the soft stuff. No friends down there. He's going to be stuck. Here comes a huge hit. Oh. Perez. Peebles on the left of the screen there. He just ruined that Honda. It's done. So it's Etchells. It's Piddles Lilybridge. Vincent Lee Morris.
Harris, nice passenger side shot. And Lily Bridge. Sizing up on the triple seven. Right there, sweet. Red back. flag, red flag. <laughs> Looks like we got a small fire. Could be Vincent Lee. Vincent Lee Morris. He was smoking pretty heavy before the thing got started. Actually, it's Richie Sharp oh. to the right of the smoking car. So there's Buckethead in all his glory. Feeble <laughs> trying to get her rolling here. He's hammered his left rear. It's about sideways. So about four or five cars still running. And here we go, Etchell's still going, Bratcher's still going. Mark oh, Smith got her going. Thebold, believe it or not, got it going. Lillibridge, Riley Sharp, Koenig, and here we go! Ouch! Nice shot by Piddles there. He just ends Koenig's night. Piddles doesn't want to do too <laughs> many of those head-on shots. And he's Riley. gonna finish him up again. Only this time he does it right. <laughs> Sven, it is customary during the main events for the floor reporter to turn his mic on and jump in anytime you want. Hey, you see. Go ahead there, Brent. Feebold's yeah. still going. Amazing. All right, now Piddles is going to set up for the full track shot. We need a big one here, Jason. Come on, don't disappoint. It's, it's him and Riley. That's it. Riley, the rookie. Here he comes into Thiebold. Oh, man. T-Bonus Maximus. <laughs> Atta, kid. How does Mike Thiebold get that thing going? Hopefully he had his washcloth permanently installed before this race. Piddles, that is. All right, we've got a 90-second roll for the KDDA. 90 seconds, no significant contact. You pull your flag. Every, flag, every driver has a flag next to his driver's window. When you time out, you pull your flag, that alerts the rest of the drivers that you are out not to hit you, and you sit still. Riley Sharp getting a <laughs> double Wamoronski there from both Lillibridge and Fubar. All right, so Fubar, Lillibridge, and Sharp number two. Lillibridge staying just a hair away from yeah. Fubar. Fubar unable to make contact. Nice, nice job. Uh, sorry, Pat. <laughs> I see Mike Thiebel feverishly trying to get that 124 car running in. There you see Riley Sharp and Fubar. This is going to be Lillibridge's, I think. Yeah, it attention. should be. Barring. Uh, He's going to make sure Fubar is. Fubar. Yeah. And then he will set his sights on Riley. Lillibridge actually for a youngster coming into his own here recently for the KDDA. Yeah, he's been learning from the best and Steve Morgan on how he builds these mini cars. And uh, you can see it felt, it's folded up just right as he just takes out Sharp. A smart young demolition derby driver would do himself well to make friends with an hey. old good demolition yes, derby driver. Yes, definitely. And here it is, the, the, the <laughs> arena shot coming. Here it comes, he's gonna hit him head on, front on front. Boom, Chagalaga! Oh, oh, oh. Lily Bridge tattooed the steering wheel with his forehead on that one. Interesting side note too, Lily Bridge was uh, with me along with uh, the old man Dale Avery in the last SCW title match. He was in Dale's corner with me, big wrestling fan. He's gonna put Riley Sharp into orbit with this one right here. Here it comes! Oh, oh swing and a miss. He's looking for a little bit of excitement in the audience, I think, with that one. And there he'll reset his counter. Riley feverishly trying to get that thing going. Sven, how's it look down there? And that's going to do it. Lillibridge right. is going to take this one handily. And he's going to drive off the track and then come get his trophy. Oh. <laughs> or is he going to do a victory lap? Yes, he's going to do a victory lap. The full lap. He's doing it a la Chuck Dano. 
<laughs> it's always nice when you uh, layeth the smack it down at the finale. I wonder who's going to get the Mad Dog Award here. What do you think? The fans are going to be voting tonight. And Riley out to shake hands with Jason. You love to see that. Here it is. The Mad Dog Award. Sven's got to go get that trophy for the Mad Dog, too. Yeah, definitely, I, I would have to agree there. The trophy is sitting up top by Dennis Buckholtz as it's gonna have to come down from uh, the hand of God, Lily Bridge. And actually, our man on the field, Sven Melseth, is going to present the Mad Dog Trophy. Normally, it's an unwritten rule in Demolition Derby that you don't give the winner the Mad Dog Trophy because the winner's gonna get a trophy, right. he's gonna get some money. The Mad Dog is for somebody who, you know, tried really hard, laid a lot of hits, and maybe knocked himself out a little early, but Lillibridge made so many great hits the entire time. Yeah, he was definitely laid the smack down the most, so. Go ahead, Sven. Well, he's trying to find Lillibridge. There he is, walking over by the Chico, directly in front. Yeah, he's gonna have Sven. Here you go. Sven, take it away. All right, guys, so I got Jason Lillibridge, our Mad Dog Award winner tonight for the Mini Car Main. One question the fans have. I've been asked to ask you, how did you get the nickname Piddles? Well, see, I had this good name, good friend named Sven, and he was telling me about how when he gets real excited out on the demo track, he kind of, you know, could have used Let a pad. <laughs> so I got the name Piddles, and that just carried over to me. So, uh, you know, he didn't like the nickname. All right, Sven. Enough making fun of me. Take, take your Mad Dog Award, congratulations, and go get a trophy from somebody a lot cuter than me. <laughs> hey, Sven. Sven coming to his own here as the mains get going. Sven, I'd say that one kind of blew up on you there. <laughs> but that's what he's got to do. Go in the trenches to get the stuff. Even the Ken Nelson couldn't have got there. <laughs> All right, folks, we are going to take a break and come back with the last event of the night, the big car main event, and it's going to be a good one. Crazy Eric's, drive through style dining for the whole family, located at the fairgrounds, Belfair, and Navy Yard City. Nostalgic food, family fun, Crazy Eric's. And it's time for the main event, folks. There's Matthew St. Carroll up there, brave in the heights in the man lift provided by Advanced Reynolds. Thank you, Matthew. And there we see hiding behind the big metal post, <laughs> Eric Reichel doing a great job for us. Eric, one of the two people that have been at every demolition derby I've filmed in the last four years. And there you see Dale the D-Man Avery waving back. And Z and bald head. Z turn around and smile. Right oh, there, dummy, up there. You big dummy. Yeah, there, there you, go. you go. Z, our photographer, also Z does the artwork for the DVD covers. So, folks, I am Brett Woolard, and I am joined by Patrick, Mr. Mopar Duncan, and we could not do this without the guys in the back room. We have Doc Parr, our engineer, Chris Mossman, our director, and Michael Mathis, technical directing tonight. We also have our two spotters, the big Gordster and George. Who You're on left camera already. <laughs> As I see the 29 of Rodney Rodriguez, he must have got that car running eventually. Well, it took his, a beating early. He has lower control arms, Ben. You can still see it. That's why he's going backwards. And then you have uh, already out here, Crazy Kelly in his Can-Am football car. You have the 330 of Travis Kowalski. Our third man in the booth in the wagon, the 114 being driven by Pinky Nordstrom. The, man 20, in black. the 28 of Royce Rodriguez. The 192, the heroes from earlier today, Jason Renker. The 110 of Rich Murray is going to put that wagon to bed. I thought we'd have a couple more of our Canadian friends out here. We'll see. There's oh, still there, a little bit of time. There there here comes, comes one right here. Don Olin right Actually, here. Don Olin in the 58 wagon. From the US and A. Junior Sukut, always good for a lot of hits. The 116 does a lot in a derby. Watch a lot for him. And he's the, in Johnny Yates' car from the football game because he used all his up. <laughs> there's the 36 of Randy Mikowski. Randy Mack. Randy Mikowski. 196. Darren Chorney. 
This is gonna be a serious main event, just like every year at this time. They're still coming onto the track. Is that it? This is a huge they said, day. let's go. We have 10, 11 cars out there. Three, one, two, three. Three Canadians. Three Canadians, actually. Four Americans. Yeah. One black car in Pinky. One pink car in Royce. And a black car for Rodney. And Rich in that old battle Royce wagon. is in a Charity Derby car. I yeah. Think. Here we go, folks. It's going to get ugly. And they're going after Pinky right. right away. Him and Sukit. All right, so now here comes Junior right away. Boom! Shakalaka! As the Canadian 192. Kelly Enzer door hits the 196 at Shorty. Pinky gets tagged in the rear quarter panel by Rodney Rodriguez. Rich Burr's got his sights on Travis Kowalski. Door shot there by Mikowski on <laughs> Pinky. Pinky did back into that one though. Burr's rear end gets turned into a Pope mobile by Mikowski. <laughs> All right, so everybody's still going strong here. Ranker, the 192, gets unstuck. There you see Chorney. And there's Pinky. Oh, you didn't see uh, Rodney there. Pinky's still running very strong, coming into the pile. On Ranker, no, that's Chorney. Mikowski into Pinky. And then. Rodney Rodriguez right into Mikowski as well. Herzwagen has had better days. That's the 192 Whoa. on Ranker. Whoa, Pinky. Takes Ranker for a spin. That might be all she wrote for Ranker. That was a hard hit. All right. Still running, we have the 29 of Rodney Rodriguez, the 110 of Rich Burr. The 196 of Darren Chorney, the 36, Randy Mikowski, 115, Pinky Nordstrom. And Pinky is single-handedly taking on the whole entire Canadian football team. Pinky wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> but now they're gonna find some revenge as the Bulldog Chorney dials up Pinky on a nice one. They might be stuck. Either that or they're dancing. <laughs> Travis Kowalski looking for somebody to hit. And I have much luck. That car is pretty well bent up. Pinky drives into Rich's living room there. Oh, oh. 196. Darren Shorty. Shorty tagging Pinky. All right, Pinky's still going fine, though. Here comes Randy Mikowski swinging by Rich Burr. So far, Pinky has made all the good hits in my book. There's another one. Pinky just wants that Mad Dog award tonight. Nice little four car action over here is Pinky. He just continues to pound Chorney. Pinky and Chorney. And Mikowski, look at I'm telling you. Business. If Pinky doesn't win the Mad Dog award, it's something's wrong here because he has been just punching cool fools. Jason Ranker in the 192 trying to get Pinky. I'm telling you, he's single-handedly taking Team Canada to the cleaners. What we need, Pinky, is a full track <laughs> shot. All he's looking for is red and white cars right now, and he seems to be finding an awful lot of them. Rodney Rodriguez in the 29 with the Kung Fu bumper. <laughs> Watch out, cha 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 Pinky creating some separation from the group, and he's gonna hit Chorney again. Knock signboard. signboard off. Good bye, Bulldog. Pinky is lighting up the track tonight. We've got a red flag. I do not see a fire. Let's see what we have here. But Olin. they are running out with an extinguisher. It's going to be Rodriguez. Rodriguez? The Kelly extinguisher the crew track. doesn't even, they're looking back which car. There he is. You see him. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Dun, 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 dun. I don't see a fire, folks. Here comes a mouthful of wholesome goodness for some for Pinky. He was talking about it earlier. Remember? <laughs> uh, there's no fire behind the seat. Oh, that's a gas tank area. What in the? Oh, underneath. 
I don't. He's like, it's fine. Get out of here. We do that. We have, we just drive around with fires all the time in Canada. No biggie, eh? Nope. No <laughs> fire. No harm. No foul. We'll be back underway here shortly. And the fire's out. Okay, so. Shorney in the 196 with no signboard there. Pinky, the man in black. Mikowski, the 36. And Rodney Rodriguez limping around still. Rich Burke got her going. I don't know how much time I, he has left, though. I cannot believe that wagon's still running. I single-handedly tried to take that out myself, and that didn't work. <laughs> Pinky pushing Mikowski, trying to push uh -oh. him into the wall. Now that's where they're going to stay. In the soft stuff, is yep. Pinky. Let's see now. Chorney wants to find the back of the black car anyway, so Could here be he a, a little bit of help Pinky yeah. was looking for. And, and Rich! Burr, and in comes Rodney! Here comes oh. the top dog, 192, Jason Ranker. Doctor, pinball wizard, Rodney Rodriguez. I think they all just put each other out right there. Whoa, that, now that my friend, got a fire. That is a fire. Holy Moses, get out there, boy. He's Jason on his horse Ranker. now. Jason Ranker's got a pretty good cooker going there. Wow, good job. That's They were ready for that one. There's your mouth full of wholesome goodness. <laughs> Jason right Fear the... will not taste the same for about two to three weeks. Oh, he's climbing out there saying, all right. And perfectly enough, that wholesome goodness is blown right into Pinky's front of his car there. That was a fire, folks. Wow. Did you see Jason spitting as he ran away yeah. from his car? Yeah. So, so we still have Rodriguez, Burr, Pinky, but Pinky's in big trouble. Yeah, and Burr's not going anywhere either. And Rodriguez Burr is digging is a hole. Done. Rodriguez is locked up with That's rank, er, uh, Ranker. Ranker's car. Yeah, right? exactly. So that's uh, the bulldog, Darren Shorney, the last man standing. Who's he going to hit? Looks like Rich Burr, which Rich could sure love one of those. Nice shot oh, as the Canadian flag oh, right into flying. Rich's car. <laughs> oh, it landed amazing. in Rich's lap. That was amazing. That was a special delivery from the Canadian <laughs> post office. <laughs> Rich Burr, wow. I, that was insane. It caught the wind off the stack and just went right into his lap. Come on. <laughs> full track. Pinky's just been told to pull his flag. Burr trying to get it going. Burr getting tossed into the wall. Hey, and Burr does have it going. The Chorney. Now Burr is able to limp that hunk of something out. Oh my goodness, I don't believe it. Darren Chorney is still running. Rich, Rich has got about 10 seconds to make a hit here. And they're both still running, baby. Look at that thing Rich calls a car. I can't believe it. It looks like an El Camino right now. <laughs> the top is ripped off. Shorty's going to tag it one more time, and this could be it. Rich fires back up. Shorty hooked to Burr's car. How can he not be? It's about 10 different directions at once. Rich can't get into gear here, it looks like. Full board might be bent too much to get in. Man, what a crazy finale. This is going to bring it close to another awesome Can-Am football game. And then one wild main event, and Rich! I don't know how he does it. I wonder, does Rich have reverse? I don't think so, because he hasn't been able to go backwards in a while. He would go backwards right now if he could. But... He can go forward a little. He's stuck. He's pushed himself into some deep dirt. Burr is toast. And you got to hand it to Chorney, too, to just keep bringing it at him. You Actually, know. Burr got it in reverse. I cannot believe Burr is going to get this car going. Uh. <laughs> He's got to make a hit quick, though. Burr has no... Yes, he still does have steering. 
At least on. on one side. And he gets another hit in, Rich. Will not give up. And I was wrong. It's a two-minute counter, not 90 seconds. It must have been a new rule change to it. Wow. So the Bulldog, uh, Rich gets a hit right there. But the Bulldog has clearly been moving the best here, but. Rich trying to get every ounce out of that Chevy he can, and I think he has got all he's gonna get. Darren Shorty backing up, getting a little bit of distance. I don't know that, he, I don't believe Shorty has any steering uh, I, left. I think his steering's done. He's got a lot, he's got him lined up now, but it keeps wanting to pull to the passenger side there. Because he's got the blown right front. This one's over. It's down to the counters, the timers. So the Mad Dog, boy, who are they gonna go to? I'm telling you, Pinky. Oh, oh, come on, it's a stack fire. It's a stack fire. He's fine. Yeah. Good job, Rich. Good job to Team Canada. Putting on one heck of a show tonight. This one is over. And it's going to be a huge congratulations to Team Canada, Darren Chorney taking first place after winning the Can-Am football game. Rich Burr doing a great job taking second in a car that should have been gone a long time ago. I think what, Pinky get third and then Either Rodriguez? Either Pinky, maybe Rodriguez got Edwards. third though. Well, I think Edwards hit Rodriguez for the last hit. I don't know. We'll see what the judges say here. We got our man on the field there. Mad Dog Award. There's Pinky Still in the board. balance. That's what it looks inside a car when you get whacked. All right, guys. I'm down here on the field with uh, Mr. Chorney. Uh, <laughs> I got to admit, that was one hell of a demo. Uh, very good job. Uh, looked like the Chevy held up good for you, huh? Yeah, yeah. It was excellent. It's a good car. I'd like to thank 3T Plumbing, Terry in Oregon for the car, and uh, Big Bad John's Racing Stables, Lord Coato Parts. Congratulations, you thank did you. a great job, man. Thanks a lot. And you know, you yeah. really gotta love guys coming from long distances to make this happen. I mean, here you have a Canadian getting a car in Oregon yeah. and winning in Washington. Yeah. Go ahead, Sven, sorry. Yeah, and Pinky Nordstrom is gonna win the trophy as, as we Thought should have happened. So Pinky Nordstrom for the Mad Dog. Yes. He built the trophy himself and then he wins it back. What well, do you think of that? That's hardly fun at all. <laughs> he did deserve it though, I tell you that much. Mr. Nordstrom, I hear you made this trophy. And you were also voted to win this trophy. How, how does that feel? You laid the smack down, you, you gave it everything that car had. How do you feel? Ah, man, I felt rowdy tonight. Did it show? It, oh. it looked like a very good showing by the black uh, GM station wagon. I was fearing that winning my own trophy. I don't usually go crazy, but I was feeling rowdy tonight. I don't know about you, but uh, as a fellow demo driver, I always feel better getting the Mad Dog trophy than winning, so congratulations. I'll save it for another day. Hey, Sven, ask, ask him if he only could see two colors out there, red hey. and white. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Nordstrom, <laughs> the booth wants to know, what colors did you see in the finale? Was it red and white? Uh, just a little red and white. <laughs> <laughs> sure looked like it. All right. Nordstrom biased, red and white, all night long. <laughs> all right, folks. Well, on behalf of West Sound TV and Demo Derby USA, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next Demolition Derby.